In this example, I will be using a voiceover from Amazon Polly. Initiating startup sequence. Running level one diagnostics. System diagnostics completed. First off, we're going to select our track, go to effect. Now go to delay and reverb and choose echo. Set the delay time in seconds to 0 0.03 and the decay factor to 0 0.5. So we are going to duplicate our first track. Now select your second track and go to Effect, Pitch and Tempo and change the pitch. Set the percentage change to minus five and click Apply. Now go back to the first track and duplicate it again. Select your third track and go to Effect, Pitch and Tempo, change the pitch and this time set the percentage change to 5. Click Apply. So the voiceover still sounds a bit flat and shallow. To change this, we are going to change the pan of the second and third channel. So for the second channel, change the pan to 100% left. And for the third channel, change the pan to 100% right. This should give it way more depth Initiating startup sequence. Running level one diagnostics. System diagnostics completed. Right, so I know YouTube or the screen recording program may alter the quality of the voiceover. So if you want to check full quality example, you can click on the link in the description below.